I've had the M4 Pro Mac Mini for about six months now, and you lot have been asking lots of questions. I know what you're thinking, another M4 Mac Mini video. However, this one is different, I promise. And the reason for that is because I'm turning the tables on you. Every time I make a video about this brilliant little computer, and it is fantastic, it's the best thing that Apple has ever done, and boy, do they need some positive coverage at the moment. But every time I make a video about this computer, you guys get involved, you send me questions, you give me your opinion, both good and bad. So I thought it would be fun to throw all of that stuff into ChatGPT and say to ChatGPT, give me the 10 most common questions and opinions about the Mac Mini so that I can react to them on this video. And if you're wondering, the power button placement, which is that thing there, came up 25 times out of thousands of comments, which was basically 1.4% of all correspondence on the M4 Mac Mini was about that power button placement, which means it didn't make the top 10. Yeah! Number one is that the M4 Mac Mini is finally the perfect entry point into Mac OS. So a lot of you are buying this as your first Mac and you're using it for coding, for editing, for side hustles, and just normal computery use at home. And I could not agree more. That combination of power and price and just the stuff that you can do with this for very little outlay. This is a Mac, remember. Apple charges a lot of money for a lot of things. But when it comes to the Mac Mini, one of the many reasons that I love this thing and think it's one of the best things they've ever done is that they have kind of, and bear with me on this, they've democratized that power and they've made entry into the Mac OS ecosystem much more attainable for a much wider group of people. And that is a wonderful thing. Number two is Unreal Performance for the price. A lot of you in the comments are genuinely surprised about what you can do with the M4 Mac Mini, and that's the point. It's not the M4 Pro Mac Mini, which is this one here. It's the base model M4. It's so, so capable. I've done tests on it, loads of people have done tests on it, and completely rinsed the performance to the point where you've got Logic running, and you've got Final Cut Pro running, and thousand exported photos running in the background from Lightroom. All this crazy, crazy stuff on a base model computer and it's not just youtubers who are demonstrating this in the comments people are coming to me and saying I cannot believe what I'm doing with this base model M4 chip it's unbelievable and the great news about that is that if you're thinking about spending quite a bit of money on a spec'd up M4 Pro version you probably don't need to Number three is really interesting because a lot of you are saying that the M4, and again, the M4 base model version of the Mac Mini is replacing your higher end Mac. So you've bought in the past a you know, very expensive iMac or you've bought a Mac Studio that you've specced up and you've decided to switch to this. And as a result of that, you've, well, you've saved a bit of money because you haven't gone for the next Mac Studio or specced up yet another iMac or you haven't waited for that 27 inch iMac replacement, which doesn't seem to be happening. You've You've gone for this, you've kind of downgraded, but you've retained performance, and in some cases, gained performance. When does that happen ever anywhere else? Number four is, it's not plugged in, but silence. This thing makes no noise, and yes, if you really slam it, it will do something. The fan will kick up and you'll hear something very, very faintly in the background, but most of you in the comments are saying you cannot believe how quiet this thing is, which means it's both very powerful, it can get loads of stuff done, and it won't make a racket, which is more important than you might think. Number five is something that I don't talk about very often on this channel, and you do tell me off for that, which I completely understand. It's the Apple Refurb Store, and a lot of you have been waiting for this to hit the Apple Refurb Store. That's happened, that means you can get it for cheaper, and more importantly, you can get a spec'd up version for less money. And Apple Refurb stuff is basically brand new. So there you go, I will talk about it more often, I promise. Before we continue, just a very quick word from today's sponsor, which is RoboForm. If you're storing all of your usernames and passwords in your head or in a spreadsheet, or worse, you're using the same password for everything, you need a password manager. RoboForm is the most affordable and the most fully featured password manager I've ever found. Basically, you can set up passwords incredibly quickly with it. It does it for you automatically. It stores them in a vault. They've got a no breach history, which makes a very big difference. It's got an emergency access feature. So if for whatever reason you can't access your password, 
passwords, you have someone designated who can do it for you. It's got a one-click login feature, which does exactly what it says on the tin. One click and bang, you're straight into your favorite website or app. It's utterly fantastic. There's so many features, but I'll let you discover those. And I think you'll want to do that when you see the amazing offer we've got with RoboForm. The link is down below. Number six is very good news. It's the fact that you think 16 gig of RAM, or sorry, unified memory, is enough now. The whole eight gig thing is a thing of the past, and that means there was, there was no arguments in these comments out of thousands of comments about the starting unified memory for the Mac Mini, and that is very good news. Number seven is something that I can't really comment on personally because I'm not one of these people, but apparently, according to a lot of you, this is perfect for developers and coders. So a lot of you are saying that you're starting to use this for coding with VS Code, with Xcode, obviously, and basically it's become your dev machine. And some of you have come from, again, like I mentioned earlier, much more powerful Macs to this. It's still powerful, but much less expensive than yeah, you know, the MacBook Pro that you bought four years ago. Or the... <laughs> there are some bad things in this list, I promise. Uh, the next one, oh, the next one is is a negative. And that negative is the port situation. So if you weren't aware, the M4 base model and the M4 Pro version have different port selections or different port speeds, basically, which we'll put down below. And we don't get USB-A. USB-A has been deleted from the Mac Mini. And more importantly, from my perspective, we don't get an SD card slot, which is really annoying. So depending on your requirements, the port situation is a bit irritating and you might have to spend more money on the M4 Pro version if the speed of the M4 base model ports isn't enough. I think that makes sense. Number nine is the fact that a lot of you love the modularity of this. And what you mean by that is you can attach anything to it in terms of a keyboard, a mouse, a monitor. A lot of you are talking about the monitor selection with this. The, the fact that you're not kind of governed by Apple. You don't have to get the very expensive studio display. You can get anything you want, basically. And the same thing goes for all of those peripherals. That is, again, something else that I think makes this the best thing that Apple makes is the fact that you don't just have to buy Apple stuff for it. You can, I know, I know that's the case with the iPhone to a degree, etc. But when it comes to the Mac, having that freedom to build your own little empire around this thing is just absolutely wonderful. And clearly, you guys really value that. Number 10 is fantastic. It's the fact that a lot of you have fallen in love with this, even though you didn't expect to, or it's come as a surprise how much you love the M4 Mac Mini. I think the reason for that is a lot of people buy it as just a Mac, you know, a Mac for your, for your office, for your home, whatever, and you don't think too much about it until you get it. And firstly, you get it out of the box and think, it's so lovely. And then you turn it on and you start using it and you realize that it's incredible. And then you remember what you spent on it, which wasn't comparatively that much money for a Mac. And you just fall deeply in in love with it. I'm not surprised by that at all, but I am surprised that so many people are surprised that they've fallen in love with it, if that makes sense. Anyway, guys, that is the list. However, I've just had a brilliant idea. This, is, this has honestly just come into my head. I want to rate your Mac Mini setup, and it doesn't have to be the M4 Mac Mini. It can be any Mac Mini, basically. Send me a photo of your setup to this email address down here, and in a future video, I will rate your setup. I've never done that before, and it's just come into my head. I think it's a fantastic idea. Get involved, and also get involved in the comments of this video. And if I can ask one more thing. If you haven't hit subscribe yet and if you, you know, you've, you've been watching this channel for a while or you've just found it and you've enjoyed this video, give it a click, please. It makes a massive difference. I'll see you in the next one. Remember, send me your setups.